Hello everyone, I have a different video in store for you today. This is the world record Smolensk damage game. Uh, I was not playing the Smolensk, I was in the Fletcher who is smoke botting the Smolensk, my buddy Gangbarang. This is on the EU server. Uh, if you know me, if you've been watching my streams, uh, you know that uh, Gangbring and I enjoy these smoke botting shenanigans just to throw the leaderboards into disarray. And honestly, this game pretty pretty crazy. I knew that he had uh, an insane amount of damage uh, because he got really quiet, and that's how I know generally that he has a crazy game. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it, and I'll try to give commentary over what's happening. This is actually the first time I've seen it from this perspective. Obviously, I was in the Fletcher. Um, I know people think that smokebotting is kind of cringe. Um, and it is. We're not trying to, you know, say that the, his stats in the Smolensk are, you know, not smokebotted, but... I don't know. It's pretty funny. It's pretty hilarious. I think he's averaging like, I don't know, almost 250k over three frags. Uh, we're over like 40 games in. So, <clears throat> right now, uh, I am going to the flank, obviously. Uh, I mean, look at the, at the other team. So the only other division on the other, on the other team is a Edinburgh and a Prince Eugen. Uh, they have a Des Moines, that's the only radar. Oh, actually, no, they have a black. I think what we were concerned about here was the black. Um, because the black can actually make the uh, job of the smoke bot a little difficult. But we see a Musashi and a Thunderer, so I already start smoking. Uh, also a rune. Gang switches to AP to try to get a little AP on the broad side of the rune. But he's already turning out. Doesn't really get any damage there. And now it's farming the Thunderer time. Also, I should add that I, my Fletcher build, it's full, full smoke build. So I have the smoke mod and the consumable skill. So the smokes I lay, it's like 50 seconds, I think, the action time. And then the last puff lasts for like two minutes. So it's almost three full minutes of smoke time. All right, that's first fire. Honestly, the, the, the game really, it, it, it's only three minutes in or almost three minutes in and he only has 15K. So actually kind of interesting that uh, this ended up being such a high damage game. And there's the Musashi running Spring Sky, unfortunately, because I don't think that he has a very good game. Also, it appears that the Thunder damage conned one fire and then got a double permafire, which is uh, not uh, not what he wants to see, but definitely what what Gang wants to see. Um, the Edinburgh, I was concerned about. I thought he might be. Uh, radar. So I'm kind of just out there trying to see if I can bait the radar. But I honestly, I don't know what the, the Edinburgh was doing. I didn't see him smoke all game. He kind of just comes over to this side, eats a bunch of damage from gang and battleships, and then runs away and dies on the other side. So I don't know what happened here. Um, so I think the fires ran out on the Thunder, obviously. So he's trying to get more on him. Um, keep in mind, throughout this time... Oh, here comes the Howlin'. Watch how fast this Howlin' dies. And this is why... This is why a, a smoke-botted Smolensk is so disgusting. Like... Okay, that was two salvos. Three salvos. Four salvos. Howlin's dead. That is disgusting. I, I took basically no damage from that either. Because I didn't shoot. There's no point in me shooting in the Fletcher. Uh, 
with a Smolensk, like, you know, six kilometers away. It just erases the DD from the face of the earth, especially at Halon, because he doesn't have smoke. Halon is probably, like, the worst possible destroyer you want to run into this division in, because you just can't do anything. So we're already at 100k. Uh, we've got the Slava Challenge, the Flamu trademark Slava Challenge. Um, but uh, still a long way to go for the Smolensk world record. If I and uh, it looks like Gang used his own smoke, and now I am smoking him towards the Musashi. Like what? Look how long the smoke lasts. Like uh, the smoke that I'm pumping out. Like look how how far I can drag it, and how long it lasts. Like it's it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. I mean, the only real reason you would run anything like this would be in competitive. Or if you're doing this in randoms. Um, but it's pretty insane how long how long the smokes you can get. And it allows him a lot of freedom of movement because obviously how big the smoke screen is. Um, and he can kind of just like keep walking in it uh, as the earlier smokes run out so i mean th this is literally perfect this is perfect for him there's two two battleships i mean musashi's not a musashi's tier 9 but it's basically a tier 10 in terms of hp almost 100,000 hp uh a thunderer and the only thing the only things i can put damage on are a gk but they're bow in and a hipper and I guess the Shimakaze, but he doesn't really have good Torp angles on anything. And the Marlboro is often god knows where. So I think this is when the Musashi and the Thunderer start to suffer. I mean, the Musashi's kind of been suffering all game. Uh, Gang's just been getting fires on him. Permafires, popping the DCP. Right now I'm calling out uh, that this Thunder is doing something weird. Um, because one thing you need to watch out for these, uh, divisions is, like, battleships just doing bizarre shit, like, running in your smoke, but Gang already sent Torps out for him. He eats three. Um, there's the Witherer. Um, yeah, there's that Thunder. I'm not sure what was going on. So I spotted those Torps from the Shima. Uh, you can see here in the minimap. Uh, there was a Shima in mid. Um, I guess he decided to come back here and torp at the smoke. Um, even though his team... Well, I, I guess it's a smart play. I don't know. Now Gang gets to uh, continue farming the Musashi. So there's the other rack of Shima Torps. They look like widespread. They might be 20 KMs? I'm not sure. So... Uh, my smoke ran out, my Fletcher smoke ran out, now Gang uses his own smoke. So basically, this is why Smolensk, I mean, it's like, oh, why do you need to smoke a lot of Smolensk? Like, it has its own smoke. Yeah, but <laughs> when you can perma-smoke it, it's just, it's just filthy. Um, I don't know if it's a, th oh, here's the, here's the Shimakaze. He runs into me at 3,000 HP, and he's dead. I'm... I don't know what he was doing. I don't remember if he had RPF or not. I don't think he did, but I, I don't remember. Um, Spring Sky Musashi, still still heavily suffering. Now we've got a Palmer coming in as well. I mean, it's just, this is the dream. This is the dream right here uh, for farming. We, I don't know if it's a thing, the double Slava challenge to get like 200k before 10 minutes. But we're almost on, like, a triple Slava challenge or something. 300k before 10 minutes. Um, and the good news uh, for Gang... It, and I start to smoke him again here because his smoke is about done. I mean, look, look at this. Look at this just seamless transition from my smoke to his smoke, back to my smoke. And I, I just walk my smoke at the enemy and it's just... It's disgusting. It's so disgusting. It's not okay. It's it's not okay. It's not okay. 
Um, the enemy team is just getting... They're just getting heavily milled. But, so what I was saying was, if you look at the minimap, uh, it's really good for what we're doing. It's like the ideal situation of the other team... Uh, you obviously dominate your flank because of the stuff that you... The smoke division. Oh, we're already... Wow, I look away and we're already at 330 because he's got fires burning on the Palmer and the Musashi. Now the Rune uh, is going to be getting the AP treatment. But uh, basically you want the other side of the enemy to win so that you get more damage because if your side wins and the other side of your team uh, wins, then there's like no damage after you've won your side, which we're about to. Um, but thankfully the other side... Man, they didn't lose, but they they basically held. It was more like a stalemate. They kind of won the other side, it seems like. So that actually technically probably could have been more if they did worse, but I don't know. Uh, there's an arsonist. We've already, I mean, we've long had confederate with her high caliber. We're at 350 now. Uh, less than 11 minutes in. Um, I think right now I'm calling out that there's a black. Uh, that's on very low HP in the middle of the map. Um, also, getting us four kills. There's another fire on the Palmer. The poor Musashi, he really suffered. He really, really suffered. Oh, the Hipper got the block, unfortunately. I think I was calling it out, but King couldn't get the turrets on him. So, we are at 367. I believe the world record uh, before this was... Let me just double check. Uh, 453 by my friend and fellow streamer and leader of 07, BFK. Um, so we're still like 75k away. Um, but obviously, I mean, things are going quite well. Quite well, indeed. Poor Palmer and pushed in. I don't really know if Palmer accomplished anything. Now Gang right now is just, he's just open watering. There's the Kraken, almost at 400k. They have two caps, uh, which is great, because it means the game's not going to end very quickly. Now right now, we're deciding where we want to go. Um, Gang is thinking that he wants to run into B, but I'm telling him no, because, uh, first off, we don't want to cap, so we win faster, and there, there's huge islands in B. Uh, there's huge islands in B that you can't really shoot over, because the, the Smolens get such good arcs. So I'm telling him, no, 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 we need to go, uh, more north through this little gap here and be able to extract the maximum amount of damage. Not that the game's any doubt, obviously, but Gang, gang is thirsting for... I don't, we didn't know he was the world record at the time, but he's... We're, we're kind of in search of the 500k game. Um, and if the enemy... If the enemy team uh, had a little bit more HP, 500k would have been doable this game. Um, but, you know... <laughs> Can't complain about the world record in the Smolensk, despite uh, the ship being nerfed, like, heavily twice. Um, it's still, obviously, extremely, extremely, extremely broken. Oh, also, I just realized that the rune died to the curver, so that could have been more damage as well. Got the Georgia. Uh, Lenin, Des Moines. I'm, my biggest concern for Gang right here is the Des Moines, if he decides to radar. I don't know why he hasn't. Also, I've gotten myself spotted on purpose. Uh, I'm trying to extend the game so he can, so it doesn't end prematurely. I don't think it was really a risk. Oh, it looks like the Des Moines in his hard light. I think right now Gang is just saying fuck it, um, because they're focused on me. Um, and he's just like, I'm just gonna run at them. Uh... So Des Moines dies. Now it's the Lennon's turn. I die. 
did me extending the game help at all? Perhaps. Perhaps not. I don't know. I think he gets... That was six kills, by the way. We're at 439. We're still not at the world record. But now he gets the Georgia all to himself. Well, not really, actually. Uh, there's quite a lot of people. Okay, yeah. That was... So if he died there, he actually got really lucky. I didn't notice that. If he died there, he doesn't get the world record. But... He had a fire burning, and so he gets it. Wow. He died just after. He died just after... Uh... He got the world record. Like, a second. A se I mean, a millisecond. So, there you have it. That is the Smolensk world record. Let me pull up the uh, post-battle screen. So here we go with the post-battle screen. Uh, he's running full econ, which is pretty funny. Um, 454,000, 534. Like I said, I think it's like 600 more than uh, the previous world record. 1,340 shell hits. Three torpedoes. One plane. I guess it must have been a spotter plane or something. Seven kills. 22 fires. And two floods. Base XP, surprisingly, not that amazing. Uh, we did the same thing, the, the smoke division, with uh, Des Moines. And he had a 5k base XP game with less damage. Um, I think it's a combination of things. One, he was shooting some low target, or sorry, low tier ships. And in the Des Moines, he got a lot of citadels. Uh, and I'm not 100% on this, but I'm very, very confident that Citadels give a substantial uh, XP modifier. Um, and then you can see the damage that was dished out uh, to the ships. 134 on the Port Musashi, 118 on the Thunderer, 85 on the Palmer. He almost got the Howland uh, to himself as well. I don't think the Helm was running SE. Otherwise, it would have been a little bit more than that. Um, 255,000 in just HE damage. Honestly, the AP damage, not that much. Only 30k, but he didn't really get a lot of broadsides. It was mostly farming like the Bow and Musashi and Thunder and Palmer. Um, 31k in torpedoes. <sighs> 128k in fires, uh, almost 8k in flooding, and yeah, that's, what else can you say? The world record uh, for Smolensk. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll probably do some videos like this in the future, maybe. Um, kind of branch out from the, the tier list that I've been doing, do some other stuff, but I don't know. I haven't really decided what kind of direction I want the channel to go in. Um, so if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. And uh, have a good one. Love y'all. Cheers.